So one of the best features of the newest Fitbit out, the Fitbit Versa 2, is the ability to talk and command your smart devices using Amazon Alexa. So in this video, we're gonna go over how to set that up and also how to troubleshoot some of the issues you may experience while going through the setup process or just using Alexa on your Versa 2 in general. So let the download begin. So guys, if you're new here and you want to learn how to use and troubleshoot devices, plus some other cool tech stuff, we can help. All you need to do is hit that subscribe button and that bell for notifications so you don't miss and release some cool, helpful content. So how do you set up Amazon Alexa on your Fitbit Versa watch? It's actually fairly simple. All you really need is the Versa itself, your smartphone, and an Amazon account. Once you've logged into the Fitbit Versa application, you're going to select your account, select your Versa watch, and go into the Amazon Alexa application that is there, and log in using your Amazon username and password. I'm sure we all have an Amazon username and password. If you don't have one, what the heck is wrong with you? Go ahead and create one. Once you've logged in, it's going to walk you through step by step, just kind of getting everything set up. It's going to show you some of the key features and benefits that Amazon Alexa offers on the Fitbit Versa 2. But once that is done, that's all you really need to do to link your watch to Alexa and your phone. By signing in with your account there, it's automatically linked to your watch itself. And you can actually access that via a couple of different ways on your watch. You can set up a shortcut on the Fitbit Versa 2 that gives you the ability just to press Press that side button. Once that side button is pressed, you can access the Amazon Alexa features, or you can just simply swipe down from the top. Swiping down from the top, you have the Alexa option there, and you can kind of click and just speak to Alexa the way you would with any other smart speaker or smart device to set up reminders, to set up alarms, and basically control your smart devices via your wrist, which is an awesome feature for the new Fitbit Versa 2. Now, you can also check reminders and different items that have already been set up on your Versa watch watch just by swiping down from the top and getting that Alexa option. You can check your reminders, your alarms, any upcoming events. All those are going to be listed there so you don't necessarily have to go into your phone in order to see anything that you have upcoming or anything that you've already set up through Amazon Alexa. And if you actually go into the settings of your Versa 2 and into the Amazon Alexa option there, you can put a do not disturb option on and you do this if you don't want to get any kind of notifications or alert from Amazon. Amazon Alexa after it's been set up on your Versa 2. So if you have alarms or if you have reminders or if you have anything coming from Alexa that you don't want to be prompting on your watch continuously or you're in a situation where you want your watch to be quiet, you can actually mute those notifications through this option here. Now I figured I would just also answer some of the, I guess, burning questions that a lot of people have about Alexa and the Versa 2. One of them being is the Alexa mic always listening to you and it really isn't. So the mic on your wrist is only turned on when you're using a feature that requires your voice. So the mic is not always on continuously. It's not listening to your conversations. You're not recording your voice or anything crazy like that, but privacy is definitely a concern for everyone. So it's nice to know that the mic only activates when you've initiated contact between Alexa and yourself. And in order to enable more skills for Amazon Alexa, you have to download the Amazon Alexa application itself. And this gives you the ability to really control some of the other smart options and smart devices that you have available in your home so smart bulbs smart plugs things of that nature that you can normally control through the amazon alexa app on your different devices like an amazon echo or the echo buds or even your smartphone you can now do directly from your wrist all you have to do is download the amazon alexa application itself it gives you the ability to add the different skills to your account once those skills are added then you can just basically interact with amazon alexa on your watch and once you've done that you can basically control all the different smart devices and use the different skills that you already have set up on your account. Now, let's say you want to go through and set up Alexa on your Fitbit Versa 2, but it's just not working or it's not popping up the way it's supposed to. There's a couple of things you should keep in mind. First, it depends on where you are. Amazon Alexa on the Versa 2 is only really supported in certain countries. So you might want to log into Fitbit and check to see if your country is supported. The other thing you want to try to do is maybe just reset your watch and reset the phone itself. Resetting both devices sometimes gives you the ability to then register the Amazon Alexa process the way it should. If you're getting a connection lost error, make sure you're close 
to the actual phone when you're doing the setup. So your watch and phone need to be at least 30 feet next to each other. So the process can be completed and the accounts can be linked properly. And also bear in mind that the Fitbit Versa app has to be running in the background in order for Amazon Alexa to work properly on your watch. So the Versa app actually has to be up and running in order for it to work the way it's supposed to. Now, if you get a no internet connection error, make sure just to check your internet connections. So your Wi-Fi or your cellular data, both of these have to be active in order for the setup process to be completed. And it also has to be active in order for Alexa to work properly so if you're not connected to wi-fi and you're in a dead zone where you're not getting a cellular data then these things probably won't work the way they're supposed to and also if you're getting a setup alexa error or an error when you're trying to set it up itself if it's just erroring out one of the things that i found really works if you go into your actual fitbit versa application itself make sure your watch is on and connected to your phone and just hit that sync now button and then it just resyncs all the information between your watch and your phone and then you can try to set up once more and I found that in a lot of different cases that actually helps to get the setup process completed and get you to where you need to go. So now if you have Alexa installed and you're trying to use any kind of directional or locational features and you're running into any kind of problems where it's telling you it can't give you proper directions or it can't find where you're located that's definitely going to be through the location options on your mobile device. So if you're on an Android make sure your location services are on and make sure that Amazon Alexa and Fitbit Versa have access to your locational service because you're going to use the GPS on your phone in order to gear your position and provide some accurate information. You want to do the same thing with iPhone as well. The permissions are located in different spots. Of course, if you guys need help locating where your locational permissions are for your device, just comment in the comment section down below and I'll be able to help you with that. No problem. So now if you run into an issue where your notifications, your reminders, or your alarms just aren't showing up the way they're supposed to in the Amazon Alexa application, or if Amazon Alexa is just not notifying you of those notifications, alarms, or reminders that you've set up. One of the troubleshooting steps you can take to fix this is simply logging out of the Amazon Alexa application itself on your phone and then logging back in. The easiest way to log in is just to go into the Fitbit Versa application, click on your account, select your Versa watch, click on the Amazon Alexa option. If you're already logged in, which you should be, you should have a log out option at the very bottom. You're just going to click on that log out completely close out the application relaunch the application and then log in the same way you did when you first initiated the setup that should work to help fix any kind of reminder or alarm issues that you're having and some users have also reported that their language is a little screwed up when they first initiate the setup when you first initiate the setup it does ask what language or what area you're in to determine the language that it's going to be responding and if that ever gets kind of wonky or crazy then you log into the Versa application, log into your account, select your Versa watch, go into the Amazon Alexa options, and then you'll have in that area the ability to change the language that's associated to your account. So if you're in the United States and it's responding in a language that is not English, you can go in here and change that. If you're anywhere else in the world, you can go ahead and select your region to get the proper language that associates to your account. Now, if you guys are having an issue with Alexa and the Versa that we didn't share in this video, go ahead and share that problem in the comment section we'll try to answer it as quickly as possible also share any other thoughts and comments you have in the comment section as well until then guys you can check out our fitbit versa 2 review here and this is something youtube believes you'd enjoy watching thank you so much for checking out the video don't forget to like share subscribe with that bell for notifications so you don't miss from release some cool helpful content like this one until next time guys peace